Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, we will answer different NLE and NCLEX type exam questions. You have 30 seconds to answer, and I will give the correct answer and rationale. If you're ready, let's start. Question number The correct answer is letter C. Diltaizem is a calcium channel blocker which will reduce the patient's blood pressure and heart rate. It doesn't directly affect the urine output. Question number two. The correct answer is letter D. Nitroglycerin is a vasodilator and it can lower the patient's blood pressure. The nurse should delay the next dose and notify the physician when the patient's systolic blood pressure is below 90 millimeters of mercury. Sites of application should be changed with each dose, especially if there is skin irritation. Headache is a common occurrence with nitroglycerin. It isn't the cause for delaying the next dose and it can be treated with an analgesic. Lastly, nitroglycerin is not contraindicated to patients with atrial fibrillation. Question number 3. The correct answer is letter B. NSAIDs decreases prostaglandin synthesis and misoprostol is a synthetic analog of prostaglandin, which is used to treat and prevent NSAID-induced gastric ulcers. Prednisone is a glucocorticoid which is used to treat several inflammatory disorders and it may also promote gastric ulcer development. Cyanocobalamin is used to treat vitamin B12 deficiency, while ticlopidine is an antiplatelet agent which is used to prevent the risk of a stroke. Question number four. The correct answer is letter A. After gastrectomy, the patient no longer has the intrinsic factor available to promote vitamin B12 absorption in the GA tract. That's why vitamin B12 is best administered parenterally via IM or deep subcutaneous. Topical and transdermal route is not available. While the enteral route is inappropriate to patients who undergo gastrectomy. Question number five.
The correct answer is letter C. Levothyroxine enhances the effect of warfarin, therefore, the warfarin dosage should be decreased. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.